Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the ranking all of the final ascension arts in fate grand order today we are going to be doing the casters uh we've just covered uh this is the last of the cavalry cavalry classes isn't it so we have berserkers and then extra classes we're almost done with this series goddamn but yeah remember take a shot every time glitch says ce instead of fa yep remember that so the goal of this series is to go through and rank all of the Final Ascension art against itself and make the grand decision of what, who has the best in class. Thus far, I've had a, uh, I want to say, near-perfect track record. I don't think anybody's been upset with me, which is good. Uh, I should also mention that these are all being graded on a curve because realistically, there is no bad art in... In fate, there isn't. I would argue that there's not a single piece of bad art. Be it for be it for normal characters or final ascensions, what have you. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think that this will be good. If you want to, and you're over watching on YouTube, come check us out live on Twitch.tv. Link down below. twitchtv slash radio Come. Come be, come influence my decisions because I absolutely look over at chat and see what they say and then get like, yo, maybe they write about something. Not always, but sometimes. So yeah, if you'd like to come party, come hang out. All right, and now for some of the sad news. Uh, this is kind of a, uh, in a weird thing to kind of bring up, but uh, so the the artist that I've hired before, twice now uh, to make my model uh, Yom aka Latte Kohiro They've, they're linked in literally all of my videos, every single one of them uh, is currently hospitalized uh, with an issue on his brain and if they're going to need, they are in kind of dire straits with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a link to that, to the tweet with the donation link to help them out down below. Now, prior to this happening, I'd given, I, you know, I've, I've, I've given some cash myself. So if you have anything that you can give, Go help a brother out. He's a great dude. Really, really fun content creator. He's been by the streams more than a few times. And, you know, he's the one who drew up the funny goat man. Uh, the original 2D funny goat man. So, you know. Just, I don't know. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. If you couldn't tell. If there's anything that you can possibly do to help, go help a brother out. He's a, he's a really great guy. And, you know. That kind of shit sucks. Stuff that's outside of your power where you get kind of just like railed by that shit. Know what I mean? So, anything that you can do, be more than appreciated. For now though, fellas. Let us attempt to focus on the art. Kind of an odd ju uh, juxtaposition to go from that to this, but... I feel like that's something that I need to put out there. If there's if there's any draw in the world of content creation I have, I want to put it towards helping a brother out. Know what I mean? And I plan on giving a little bit more if I can. So you know. Can you link the artist post here? Please do. Go support them. I I don't know how that situation is developing right now because everything's being messaged through uh, uh, through family members, but you know. So for now, fellas, let's get to the art. All right, let's start with 
casters. I answer your question from before, Tig. Yes, this is that was Katamari music that we were just listening to. It's called Bless My Stars. So if you'd like to go check that out, go do that. I was also asked in the chat during that intro, uh, is there going to be a caster equivalent to like the sitting down thing that we had with the assassins? Looking at this list, not really. I would say like li maybe lying down. Every time a caster is like lying down, maybe go for that. There is a decent amount of sitting in this as well, but maybe every time the, the caster is lying down, go with that. All right, let's start off. Medea. Medea has a good design. I really like this artist's take on Medea over OG Medea. Know what I mean? Like, no disrespect to Takeuchi Medea, but I love this art for Medea. India Goha made me appreciate this character a whole lot more than in the Stay Night. Oh, yeah. And then there's this. I love this. Yeah, it's, it's a happy Medea. I like the potions. Very, like, apothecary, very witchy. The, the, the sheep is kind of random, but, you know. I mean, I, I understand what it's supposed to be in reference to, but, you know. It's a good one. I like this. A happy Medea is a good Medea. A? Are we just gonna start off with an A? We might. I really, I really like that one. For an uh, for an early game three star too, labeled as the first caster in the game. Yes, yeah, pretty good. S tier, please give Summer Medea. I will not give it S tier because this is not Summer Medea. It's a good one. All right. Hands. Here he is, little Gaki in the library, hanging out, little booties, and by that I mean shoes. Hands and her son. Uh, this is the my preferred ascension for Hans. I like the book. The book with the crystal is a really really cool idea. Here he is, iPad Kid Hans. And then Moon Cell Hans. Sitting on top of a book. Bunch of books. Uh. Eh. It's alright. It's not my favorite. Like, the lighting is good. But he, he really is just kind of sitting on, well, old servers, old monitor, not monitors, like an old uh, tower computer. I used to have something like this, Jesus. That bitch sitting on the Dell, covered in books, a little bit of screenage behind him. It's all right. It's not my favorite. That's like a C tier. <laughs> it's all right. Never realized it was Moon Cell. I'm assuming it's Moon Cell. It would make sense if it was Moon Cell. But yeah, I, I like the, the various levels of information acquisition that are here. Scrolls, books, Dells, and iPads. It's cool. Alright. Next... Galeas the Rise. Shout 
Should I just... I, I, I make this joke all the time. Of... Should I just, like, mispronounce all of the names on purpose? Until someone is really upset with me. No. I mean, I can do that. All right. I was torn uh, between watching this tier list and watching AI Jesus as suggested by... Go watch AI Jesus. What the fuck? Fuck this stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here he is. He has his, uh, his plain uh, neck cushion. There it is highlighted. Now his book is screaming. You got that upgraded one. This is such a... I, I, I hate... I hate the way that he ascends. I, I just... I don't like it. And then I, I don't... I really am not big on this. The most interesting thing about... The, about this FA to me... Is the crazy eyes. After a year, I finally got Caster Jills last week. Burned him immediately. Hell yeah. I don't know. I think that the... I think the lighting is good. Like, you know, Takeuchi has good lighting. But, and, you know, the face is funny. But, eh. Eh. That's a D tier. I don't like it. Maybe Tammy can properly pronounce jewelry. Damn, she got it. Good job, Tammy. Damn. I didn't know you were... I didn't know that you were uh, French. Who we had? We had... Da Vinci was next. Oh, my very first SSR. It's Da Vinci. <clears throat> Da Vinci's art goes so hard. It's so good. Does the bird? Okay, no, the bird always has the crown. She gets a book and then the hat. And then there's this. It's Leonardo from the town of Vinci in the province of Edo. Hell yeah. That's just too much of a mouthful, so they just call her Da Vinci. Uh, <clears throat> I love how the lighting changes with this, from it just being like normal to her being surrounded by this burning phoenix-like bird. Uh, the rendering on this goes fucking crazy. I think, what was the artist's name? It's like Shimosa or something. Simo, Simosi. Okay, yeah. The way how this dude draws characters, it goes crazy. <clears throat> I love the lighting. I love the color choices. I have seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh, yeah. She's got that big ol' hand. A big-ass J.O. crystal on her staff. Yeah, the thighs go hard. Honestly, like, the, the rendering on the clothes is fucking wild. Like, how good that's done. Same with the hair. Uh, it's good. It's really good. It is just her kind of, like, floating down from the heavens. I mean, she is Da Vinci, so that makes sense, but... I'll give it a B. No, it's an A. I, I, I just saw that under Medea's, and I was like, there's something wrong here. Realistic skirt movement for the wing. Oh, yeah. Speaking of moving skirts, how about we start shaking some spears? So good old Bill, Bill Shookstick, it, 
Hey, you know what's funny is I actually found when I was in uh, Sapporo over the weekend, I found a Shakespeare like keychain, like one of the the rubber ones. Dad liked the joke. Awesome. And I can I thought about buying it, but then I found a Blanca one instead. I went with that, and that was really cute. And a rap, and a uh, I want some color rappy. Yeah, rappy one from Nike. Uh, I don't really care for this Ascension, really. Yeah, Blanca the Moth. It's a it's a keychain of Blanca, where she's like in like partway through moving, and it just says. She's like wearing. Oh, hold on, let me just. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go take a picture. Give me a sec. Send this to the dips board. Let me get this image for y'all. Y'all need to see this. It's so goddamn cute. I love. I love this so much. Yay! Uh, Mount Study, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, look at this. She just has a little harness that says moth. And then the the this the 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 characters here uh in the katakana. I love her so much. These here in the katakana, it just reads moth. It's mosu. That was Street Fighter Blanca. No! <laughs> no! Blanca with a C, not Blanca with a K. <laughs> yeah, no. Found this and I bought this instead because look at it. Quick opinions on the new Valentine servant. Andromeda or Andromeda? Uh, she's cute. She looks really cute. I look forward to seeing what her kid is. I have no particular expectations for what anybody, for what uh, any character coming out is going to look like on JP, so I'm always pleasantly surprised. I will say, when I saw her uh, for the very first time, I thought that she was a character for a different game. I thought it would read Buranka. Nah. No, mo Moth is much funnier. The fact that it just says Moth is much funnier. And I saw that and I was just like, is that, is that Blanca? Is that Oberon's Blanca? <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, I, I love that. I might, I might just put that on like my actual keys. Instead of just on the wall with all the others I have hanging around. Anyway, Bill Stick Shaker. This is easily, easily the best final ascension art that the the Apocrypha guy has done. Like hands that this is this might be for me. This might be an S tier. I love how creepy and cryptic and evil it looks in comparison to everything else that is about Shakespeare. And also my, you know, my my love-hate relationship with good old Bill. Meet. Mid, how dare you? This is how motherfuckers look reading NTR Dojin. Uh, easily. I would put it S tier, but that's kind of biased. I'll put it low A tier. Every day we play. 
That library is real. It's in Dublin. Well, unfortunately, Dublin isn't real. Typical Oncoman reader. Re yes. Why you need to diss NTR Dojin every time? It's easy to. And I'm not above picking low-hanging fruit. Alright. Good old dog, man. He had his hood on, now he has his hood off, and now he has cool shoulders. Did he have a cape before? No, he didn't. He fixed his cape. I am above low hanging fruit. That's why they're easier to pick. Exactly. Uh, I like this one. It's okay. It's not anything special, but it's okay. I like the dogs. I wish he did more with the dogs. Uh, I, I, I do like the pose, though. I love the lighting, and I love just, like, how it, it's set against red and whites. I think that's a really good, you know... It's a, it's a really good compliment to the rest of his design. Reminds me of Arash's Final Ascension. A bit, yeah. No, I get you. I get what you mean. Uh, for me, that's like a C, though. It's not, it's not a D necessarily, but it's a pretty low C. I'm short, low hanging is all I can reach. Get some moon shoes. Kid powered anti gravity shoes. Paracels is doing the funk. I love, I love his first ascension where he's just like holding nothing. This is like when you would watch Scooby-Doo and there'd be the one cell of like art that's completely different. She's like, you know something's gonna be there, obviously. There he and with him drug. He lost him drug and it made bubbles. And now here he is looking at uh, meth in a fucking petri dish. Uh, I actually like this one a lot. It's pretty. It's pretty low key, but it's pretty fun. I need to. I need to do a think emote in the future. You can see the forbidden left eye. <laughs> Me pretending to work on my master's thesis. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I, we got a cook. Uh, yeah, this is like a C tier. It's all right. Have I played the Samurai Remnant DLC? Not yet. Uh, I've been Pain really busy traveling this like last week, which is, I mean, one year with a satanic goat feels strong, man. Hey, welcome back for a full year. I wouldn't call myself satanic, just evil, or maybe chaotic's a better word. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Twelve years, Scott Fools. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Here's to another twelve more of funny goat man. I'm so sorry. 12 years, damn. Yeah, congratulations. 12 years. Oh, yes, Paracelsus throws caster balls. Yeah, chaotic neutral goat man. Uh, this is a C tier. You summoned Satan sometimes last year. I mean, I didn't summon Satan, I summoned the Antichrist. There is a difference. Thinking a most gone to be to Mamo Dot. Oh my god. Burning light with the 23 months. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. We're almost at two years of funny goat man. 
Thank you so much. Glad to have you back, my man. The Twitch glitch. The Twitch glitch is chaotic neutral. Well, Twitch glitch and real glitch is about is real glitch. That's about the same. Yeah, YouTube, I put on a, an, an entire fake persona where I have to appear at least like I'm not stupid. It edited YouTube content. If you're watching this on YouTube, then, well, sorry. <laughs> Pretender Klidge is canon. Always has been. All right. Waver. YouTube go Klidge alter. Uh... Good old waiver. This is my preferred waiver ascension. Hey, it's Oki. <laughs> yeah, I like this one the best. I like the tie. It really pops against everything else. My love. Yeah, he's a good one. And then here he is as a Gaki. I even though I like Fate Zero so much, this is the inferior waiver design. And then here he am. Sit, caster Okita leak. Here he am. Here he am sitting on the. Sitting on the floor, reading him books. Got his boyfriend cape on him. I keep him Ascension one. I mean, I I I'm kind of with you. I like grumpy old man waver the best. I say old man as if he's not like. In his 20s or 30s. I, I don't particularly care for this one. Yeah, Takeuchi does normally go a whole lot harder. Like, at least with the lighting. Like, this one, it's like a, it's a good photograph, but in terms of like a final ascension art, it's kind of whatever. No disrespect to him. Eh. I don't know. It, it's, it's not my favorite. Like, yeah, like somebody said, even in terms of, like, Takeuchi designs, it's kind of weak. Alright. Dabab. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to address this. I keep seeing it. God motherfucking damn. Okay, Mr. Sunshine. It's a good one. That's a really good one. And then, okay, this is just all the new servants. New Valentine's things. Sorry, I keep seeing this. I needed to take a closer look. This is amazing Johanna art. Yeah, it's it's the it's the Popus. It's the young Popus. Looking cute as fuck. Sorry. Anyway. Debab. My boy. Who's your artist? You know what? That that makes complete sense, looking at that. Weirdly enough, the most normally proportioned male this person has ever drawn. Alright. My boy, the bad. Here he am again. Got that steam on him. I thought Baby Third Ascension was his FA. Oh. I fucking love this art. It's so. Ominous. 
in like the coolest way possible. So I've, I've said it. I've said it before. People who draw mech. People who are able to draw mech are like another level above every other artist. Like drawing mecha shit and making mecha shit look good is so fucking hard to do that so many like artists when they when you go to commission them are like I will not I won't do mech at all. I just won't do it. Don't ask me to do it. I won't do it. I don't care how much you pay me. That shit's impossible. It's not happening. And this shit looks amazing. Me when I fucking get you. <laughs> exactly. This artist also designed the ship forms of the green. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. This dude does like robotic shit so goddamn well. And he like like Takeuchi has really good lighting. This guy has amazing like ambience to all of his works. Like the the detail, the level of detail goes so unnecessarily hard. I heard you talking shit. <laughs> POV, you're about to be command grabbed by Potemkin. Uh I will say the pose that he's doing is kind of lackluster, so unfortunately it's gonna keep it out of being hyper hyper up there. But I'm putting this in th this is a B tier. If not, I if I had it my way, I'd probably put it A or S, but I think B is the most fair, non-biased place to put it. My glasses when I get out of the shower, absolutely. Alright. I'd wager a low A for how hard it goes. I, I'm going to continue to be fair and keep it a little bit lower. Uh, we are ranking Final Ascension Art. Yeah, a uh, reminder, this is, n this is not a gameplay tier list. <laughs> Very clearly, this is not a gameplay tier list. Can you imagine coming into this stream and thinking that this was for gameplay? Just, just, just this screenshot right here. Yet yeah, Waver, Paracelsus, Hans, all below fucking Shakespeare and Medea. Waver overrated to VH. Shut up. All right, we're on to Paco Art. Uh, good old Edison. Is that the line from Lost Belt 6? Yes. <laughs> I will never understand Paco's decision for these particular wings. Can anyone tell me why is the Pope... Why is a Pope in this game? Uh, because she's probably not real. She's as much of a mythological figure as she is a historical one, in the in a sense. Uh, so it's it's one that they can get away with because it's something that's like it's it's a the Johan is a bit of a gray area. She's also uh, the the priestess in the tarot. Fun fact. All right. Yeah, this, this F.A. goes insanely hard. As an American, this goes so goddamn hard. It's so somber, it's so solemn. 
Uh, if you'll notice, the disco ball he keeps in his chest is what is casting the lights onto the flag itself. As a non-American, I don't see how this goes hard. People have this exact image, except instead of uh, instead of a lion, it's I insert any. I explained that isn't to my dad. He looked like he was gonna have his little th heart attack. I mean, I don't blame him. That's my president. I am Mexican. <laughs> I feel like something is missing in the back. I I think it's perfect. It's very like artistic. I, I think it fits perfectly because it, it, it anything in the background would detract from the framing. I mean, I have I absolutely have like a Paco bias, but you know, yeah, no people have this exact image tattooed on their bodies in America. Except instead of the lion's head, it's insert uh, any U.S. president uh, or Jesus Christ. And it's pretty much this exact image. Or Goku. It could be Goku. But yeah, no. Like, it... Mm. I, I, I low-key love this art. It's, it's fucking amazing. I've been psychologically trained to hear what the fuck is a kilometer full auto gunshots whenever I see an image like this. They're everywhere. S tier. Pops the fuck off. I love it. There's absolute bias in this, but you know, America's the greatest country in the world and all that. Hee hee ha ha hoo hoo. America is such a phenomenal and great country, everybody. I moved out of it. <laughs> I knew Klidge was a furry. How dare you? Anyway, who wants to fuck tomorrow? <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tamamo is good art. Here's here she is. Here she is with a tail in a Did mirror. Shut up, cat. Here she is with the... With the rice and the mirror again, and then the four tails, and then the sun. I'm not afraid but I'd fuck the fox girl, I mean, huh? And then here she is once again. So, if you are, uh, why is she crying though? Okay. So, well, who hurt her? If this is the, this is the scene that I think it is, this is her being fucking killed. Uh, I believe this is her being killed. Uh, in history. Alternatively, this is her being... This is something Moon Cell related, but I don't think so. Bro, spoil... Yeah, sorry. The history spoilers from over a thousand years ago. It's okay, guys. She escaped. She's back out. She's fine. I was about to watch that season of Hei and Kyo. Absolutely. Absolutely. Her being shot and then sealed. It's okay. She's back. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like this. I like this art a lot. It's very cute, in a way. It's very, very tragic and sad. I, I hate ascending her all the way just to see her crying, you know? But it's good. The art's really good. Wada always cooks when she makes something. You can get to see a little bit of a tasteful fox booty uh it's I, I, it's okay i feel like this is like a b tier what's the deal with the rice uh uh you mean like the, i mean this i believe is wheat i believe this is supposed to be wheat but the rice is that you know she's a part of the uh, the god of the sun and 
blessings from the sun include a good harvest. Why would Ryu do this? Alright. Speaking of... Uh, Wada Art. I have never noticed this scrungly fucking cat in her final ascension before. Or in her standard art before. Look at this scrungly fucking cat. Oh my god. Cat goes S tier, she stays D. Agreed. And here we go. So, uh, something about early Wada art, like early Wada Final Ascension art, is that she makes it very busy. Like, all of the early Wada art had super busy Final Ascensions. It, it is cute. I don't think it's D tier. It's probably C. Her her little fangs are really are really adorable. I do love those. Wada is the man. False. Wada is the woman. I can't get over the nail slash fingers. Yes, that all of the Liz's have this. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of know why, but I don't really know why. Kiris. <laughs> Kiris. Yes. Uh, it's good. It's a C tier, but it's good. I like it. More characters should just have unnecessarily sharp things. Alright, G-Man. I did not know that this was, uh, the... I didn't know that this was the, uh... Fuck my thinking of the the Ushi artist. Yeah, the fangs on both the top and the bottom is a very good look, and nobody does it. Here he is with his leather jacket. I actually used to have a jacket like this back when I lived in the fucking sticks. Here it is with this as well. Does this knife change at all? No, he just gets more clothed. And then here he is, posing with the wolf. I love how this wolf is framed. Just because if you look hard enough, you can imagine that its body is actually just like a giant, like, shoulder and arm. And it's just like it's like Anubis from the from, from Nito Chris Alters. <laughs> like FA your your NP. It's a really buff wolf about to kick the shit out of you. And he's just like, mm-hmm. Snake wolf. A little bit, yeah. Magical girl Geronimo and his familiar. Yeah. Uh It's okay. I, I like that we get to see the wolf. I like that we get to see his little totem guy. Who, I don't even think... Does this thing have a name? Does he ever, like, address... Do we ever get this thing, like, addressed? Or is it just there? Regardless, G-Man is cool as fuck. I love G-Man. His final ascension is just okay. It's like a C tier. I'll put it here. Yeah, I'll put it above Lizzie. Toto. It's called Toto? I love that. Yeah, G-Man has a good design. I want them to do more with him. I wish that they would, but they won't. Uh, next was... Good old Sanzo.
God, I fucking love Sanzo. This is one of my favorite designs in Fate. She's so cute. She's so unbelievably cute. A life-saving smile. Absolutely. She is with that. And there she is, full Bodhisattva. I li I love I love this final ascension art. It's so good. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious. They do. They the the Chinese one does have a different version. I actually kind of like the Chinese one a little bit better. Yeah, it's it's just the difference of they 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 tighten the. The thing on the shirt a bit more but i mean i, I think they both look good it's, it's just very slightly less horny yeah they, they they reduce the the impact radius and cover it up a little bit where's hans how fucking dare you <laughs> God, that is that is the curse of having a deep affection for Sanzo is knowing that if you're gonna go looking for Sanzo Dojins, the number one ones are always going to be horse related. That said, my favorite Dojin is a Sanzo and Nightingale one, which is real good. Uh, her FA though. It's like a B tier. Maybe like right here. Got numbers for that? Not on tap, no. Alright, speak well, speaking of horny girls, let's see it. God, Nito Chris has such a fucking perfect design. And the crowd goes wild. Yep. Nito Chris's design is actually perfect. Vote, vote. It's good. It's 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 just perfect. It's good. It's just so good. Uh, unfortunately, her FA, well, all well, is still still good, still very good. Get some tasteful booty, some booby. Nice little cute look back. I like her smile a lot. The lighting is good. The gold highlights are good. It's just you know, yeah, she's hitting the Bradamante right now. Uh, you know. In terms of like posing and whatnot, it's kind of just it, it, it's it's I. Right. Look, we all agree it's S plus tier. I can't in good conscience put it into S plus tier. Or can I? It feels kind of weird to have her up. We, we, we might move her down. I'll keep her there for now. All right. Charles Cordray. Where is she? I don't understand why they censored her kneecaps. Why do they do like the hentai sensor on her kneecaps and below? Why would you pin hentai numbers in my chat room? Do it, Kledge. She deserves that. Hmm. 
my wife. I forgot about this one. I've, I've never, I never see anybody ever use this one. Does anybody use this? I see people use this one because this one is this one's cute. I do love fish nets. Fish nets do a lot for me. Patterned fish nets also very good. And then here we go. It's still blurred. Why is it blurred here? I don't get that. Not fishnets, just tights. It's got it has the cross hatching on it. Eh, whatever. Uh, so things of note for this are that she has a ring on her, uh, ring finger, but it's on the wrong hand, so she isn't, like, this is not supposed to be an innuendo towards anything. Uh, her mouth is very, very, very slightly open. So you can kind of see her teeth, which is a little unusual, I won't lie. Uh, it's all right. <sighs> I think it's a D tier, unfortunately. It, it's it's just fine. Like it's just it's not my favorite. Her Valentine scene goes hard as fuck, though. I've not seen it yet, so maybe I'll. The ring is controlling my chicken. It's EX on the tier list that I'm working on. Okay. Who was next? Was Cass. Oh, good old Beaver. That, that her first ascension is the best one. It's it's so good. This one is cute too, but first essentially is definitely best. There she is again. Nito art as dear. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. I do not subscribe to the universal love of this kid. No, I, I totally understand why some people would not get it. Or why some people would dislike her. I totally understand. Uh, me, though, I, I think that she's good. I think she's good. And then her FA is peak Takeuchi lighting. Castoria, my little sister. And if anyone tries to loot her, I will murder them. That includes you, Sensei. Fight me. Yeah. I love the flowers. The lighting is supreme. This whole thing hurts my goddamn eyes to look at it, though, because it's white flowers on a white dress on a white girl. Pull up in front of Denny's. Uh. You know, it's cute. It, it is a little bit of a flashbang, yeah. She is just kind of sitting down, but, you know. The light. It burns. A little bit. Uh, it's an A tier. It's a pretty high A tier as well. It's it's a really pretty piece of art. Alright, moving on. We have Miss Cron. Sitting down on a rare assassin reel. Bang. White woman flashbang. <laughs> yeah. God, I love Crane's design so much. 
Oh, it's absolutely supposed to be Avalon, but yeah, it's just, it's so goddamn bright. Crane's design is so good. I love the girl failure witch. I love the girl fail witch so much. I love the wings. I love the talons. I love that she has the moon in it, just like a sextant. And then there's this. We keep it a stack. I was sort of hurt her journey with us. Didn't count as a summer memories back in that part. Damn. I want her to make a gya sound as she trips over something. She would, yes. Uh. I really like this one. I like the implication of it. I like the secret thing that she's doing because, you know. Don't tell anyone. Her th hey, guys, don't tell anyone, but she's a fucking bird. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good kimono, which looks really good on her. I love how her hair has, like, the red interior like that. It's good. It's very, very pretty. Good cloth, good rendering. So she's a government spy. She's not a lizard. Uh, I put this A tier about here. I like that one a lot. It's, it's a very dignified, very subtle FA. It's good. All right. Eris VL. God, they just <gasps> A for Awuga, real. Would you're real for that? Uh I yeah, she she just has such good art. And then Lying down. She's got nips that could cut through fucking obsidian. The lighting is really good. The gold highlights are really good. Pierce Tugu glares as he holds his gun with his origin bullet star at your head. What an idiot. Goat heads are impervious to damage. Was he stupid? Uh, in case anybody didn't know, this is also drawn by the Nito Chris artist. This is Shima Udon. If you couldn't tell by the immaculate, like, tit lighting. I will say, it's very hard to look at her forehead when she has a goddamn, like, 15, uh, ju like 15 billion jewel fucking flashlight coming out of her crown. That shit hurts to look at, but yeah, no, it's good. It's a B tier, but it, it's good. Be not afraid. Sir, this is the scariest, sir, this is the horniest moment of my entire life. 5,000 lumen head ass. <laughs> All right. Helena. Let's rush through the lollies to get it to get to the good stuff. I actually like Helena's art a lot. I've said that before. I really like her art. Gets her bigger book. I think I think that this one is actually pretty classy in terms of like lolly shit. Don't feel guilty about it. It's good art. I mean, like this artist pops off. Yeah, the coat's good, the posing is good, the rendering is really good. Remind me why she's drawn as a lowly again? Uh, because if she was drawn as her actual age, she would look like a babushka. And fate refuses to give us an old woman. So, you know. 
Yeah, Bruno Mart's artist too. I love this artist. They do great work. I like the background. It's very, very, it's very fitting. It's very, it's a very Helena. It's a very Helena feel to it. Uh, it's like, it's, it's a B tier. It's good. We should get an actual granny. That's what I'm saying. We need Lady Butterfly adjacent characters. I need a badass old woman who will throw knives into your face and then call you a puppy. We need Lady Butterfly and Fate is what I'm determining. But you're a goat, that's okay. Would love Helena Alter as a babushka. That would be that would be cool. Like act, seeing actual old lady Helena, I'd be okay with that. All right. Lily, what changed? Jesus Christ. Hey, talk about subtle. She patterned her see-through shawl. Yeah, at least she gets a crown here and some more lace. Sweetheart, you need to stop trying to look sexy. You're like 10. Uh, I do like this art though it's very it's very cute it's very innocent FBI open up and the rendering is good the lighting's good the... kind of a dark idea though to have her on an island isn't it isn't that kind of a fucked up <laughs> is this Koyama I was gonna say yeah that makes sense It's very cute. It's very warm. Put that in B as well. Warm, soft, and cute. Yeah, that, yeah, that's apt. That's an apt descriptor. Speaking of warm, soft, and cute, Star the Mawile Girl, how's it going? Long time no see, how you been? And the crowd goes wide again. All right. God, I love Disgaea art. Not a QP again. Hey, same. No QP, no caster gems. A Wooga. Oh my god, I love this art. Yeah, the, the Disgaea artist Better pops off. In every one way. Uh, this is the this is the superior uh, Wu Ascension, though, in case anyone was curious. This is fucking peak. I love this so much. Uh, this is also incredibly good. I did fix most of the supportless skill levels. Hell yeah. We'll look forward to the next <laughs> supportless review then. And then this is her FA. <clears throat> oh, this is an absolute improvement to her assassin design in every single way. I I have a bias towards this artist. I do. It's such a different art style than any other artist has in FGO. 
I love how her gloves align with the straps in her bikini. It's really good. S. Just because the way her gloves and bikini top are colored, you could swear she's sleeping her hands under the bikini top. You could. It's a really cute look that she's giving. I love how warm these colors are. God, it's so fucking good. I... Why could we not get this as, like, the normal Wu? Why does Wu have to go and be the fucking Chinese goblin? S tier. Is this the Lacosta? No, the Lacosta artist, I think, has never done anybody else. Let me check. I'm, I'm actually curious. I think Lacosta's artist is just for Lacosta. I'm a fucking liar. It's black. I'm dumb as hell. I'm fucking stupid. Ignore me. I lied to all of you. I'm a fucking moron. I like my Chinese goblin, but the caster is a full upgrade. I, I like Wu as a character, and I like Wu's kit. It's her design. I, I feel... I hate any character where I, f where I feel like I have to keep them in Ascension 1. Otherwise, I feel like I'm, like, nasty. Know what I mean? I like Assassin Wu because of her forehead. Val you're valid for that. All right. Good old Mephisto. The communist Mephisto. Hear him with him bombs. Hear him with him more bombs. Why jacked? He's a demon. And then... This is like a Dongon Rumpa screen cap. Even though I know it's not the the, the Dongon Rumpa artist, why is this good? Because it's this is the Da Vinci artist. The Da Vinci artist fucking cooks and renders their the final ascensions out to perfection. That dude gets it. He gets it hard. Tick tack boom. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like a B tier. It's it is a very good pose. I just wish they. Oh, excuse me, Jesus. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still tired. I spent the last like fucking three days traveling, so I'm still kind of out of it. He looks like a cat a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I think this one goes up here with probably above Bab. No. It goes there. That one goes hard. Alright, Peacock. My dear friend. Sheba. Backledge, hey, I want your opinion. In, in this Valentine's event, I grew my Amor Karen. Sheba, my beloved. Sheba, my wife. From Bond 7 to almost 10, and I'm thinking of grailing her to 100. I have her at NP2. Do you think it's a good idea? Like, would it be useful? Uh, I think that if you like a character, that's when you should grail them. Any other time... If you're worried about grailing a character for stats reasons, it should only really Shiba be... Inu. It should really only be if they're, like, a low star. If it's a low star character that you like. So, like, Gareth, for instance, is low star. And she benefits a lot from having grails. If you just like the character, then yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, the, the stats will help them out, definitely. It just matters less when they're already a five star. But I think if you like her, then yeah, go for it. 
Absolutely. If you have her MP2, take her. Uh, and Safi Rosa, thank you for the resub for 11 months. Almost a full year of Funny Goat Man. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Why am I, why am I about to get murdered by Michael Sheba, Myers? My what beloved. is this music? Sheba, my wife. Sheba, my life. That hair looks like a delight to pet. Oh, yeah. Sheba's art. Go crazy. Very well rendered. Love it. Love everything. It's a bit of a busy design, but I do like it a lot. Now it's an incredibly busy design. But yes, I would I would ruffle her hair. And stick my hands in her ears and tickle her brain. Mm. And then her final ascension is a little bit busy, but not enough that you can't tell what the fuck is going on. She be schmoovin'. She be having that smoke. Got all that stuff around her. I love her expression. Her expression is really good. Yeah, the devious smile. This is her laughing at how little damage her MP5 just did. Yeah. Yeah. POV, you lost everything in the stock market. This is what you get for investing in fluffy coin. Uh, it's an A. It's an A tier. Put that one here. Oh, that's not, that is not the smile of someone who will scam you. That is the smile of someone who has scammed you and do, will do it again. Absolutely. All right. Amadou Ice. Mozzarella. Interesting. I, I, I want to see this guy design a five star. His art style is super unique. Everything looks like it's carved out of stone. Amadeus. Always rock me, Amadeus. Uh, Sensei, have you seen the newest servant for the rider class? Yes, she looks very cute. I look forward to seeing what she can do. I think Amadeus is creepy. That's because he is. I don't understand the mask, why he has that. But this final ascension with the mask being broken... The headless statues playing all of the instruments, the, like angels and shit behind him, it's so, like, well framed. And it's, like, purposefully demonic in a lot of really cool ways. I love this art. This art is awesome. Like, it genuinely goes hard as fuck, yeah. It's, it is very creepy, but it's very good. It's an A tier. I'd probably put it up here. Yeah. Biblically accurate Mozart. Absolutely. Uh, there she is. Uh, P. Fazars also did stuff like Gugulana, Gil's Vimna, and the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Really? Interesting. I want to see them do more characters. Like, that art style is really fun. Alright, Miu.
There she is as a magical girl. I actually like this design a lot. Like, I, the, the, the Shrine Maiden look is very good. I don't, okay, the FBI doesn't need to be here for Muse because Muse is pretty low key, realistically, for her final ascension art. Like, okay, say what you want about lolis or whatever. But the background in this, like, art is really good. Yeah, no, this is, this is tasteful. Like, th this is incredibly tasteful, given this artist's reputation. It's good. This is really good. I actually think this is an A tier. That background goes insanely hard. Yeah, no, it's cute. It's good. It's, it's, it is a good. Framing is good. Yeah, it's an A tier. That might be an... It might be criminal to put it into S. That might be an FBI open up, but whatever. Fuck it, it's going into S. I... I just solely for the background. And the, the character design. Like, fu like, fuck it, whatever. Say what you want about the character. The details are insanely good. The rendering came out insanely good. Everything... Like, this is this, is this artist at, at their best. Hands down. Speaking of an artist at their best. FBI wants to know your location. Find me. Noko. Making Izum Oku. I love their art so much. Izum, oh my beloved. This is my favorite one. I love the Shrine Maiden look. Because I'm a fucking nerd. But this is good too. Unfortunately, the final ascension is kind of... boring. Know what I mean? Guess it came to me in one ticket. Hell yeah! Like, the art is good, I love the coloring of the art, but, like, in comparison to just, like, her... Like, her normal ascensions, it's not that different. Know what I mean? Like, it's really... The, the lighting is, like, slightly different, and it's a difference of pose. Yeah, the, I, I love Izumo, but this is, like, a D tier. Unfortunate. I, I hate to do that to her because she's such a sweetie, but, you know. And no disrespect to that artist. I love Iz Izumo's design goes hard as fuck. Alright, Dagong. Here he am. With a really big sleeve. Uh, it's good. It's a, it's another Wada one. And you know, Wada always cooks. This is no. This is not worse than. Izumo's. I will say it doesn't have a lot going on for it. I do like the thinking. Of, it's very. It's like the the Paracelsus one. I would equate this to the Paracelsus one. Why does the music kind of match him? Because Katamari music is universal. Yeah, all of this is different masters whose castorias you've launched into other people. Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's very reminiscent of the Paracelsus one. I it, it's just okay. Moving on. 
Zhong Zhu. Old Man Pecora. Why is Anderson so low? It's kind of boring. Alright, here he is. With him silly ass shoes. Hey, what's up, Mock? How's it going? I love this design. This design pops the fuck off. Look at how good this fucker looks. It's so fucking cool. Who else has this artist done? It's just him. Any CEs? He's done one, like, mash CE. I look forward to seeing more stuff by this guy. I love th I love this art. It's really good. And I am a sucker for happy old men in my final ascension art. It is, it is well, yeah. I think it's the eyebrows that are reminding you of that. This one's very sweet. This one, I believe, is supposed to be... So, okay. Who is he? Uh, sh very short and with no context, Chinese Jesus. Longer and with context is that he's a... A, uh... Three King... Romance of the Three Kingdoms guy. And he led the... He, with his brothers, led the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Uh, but before that, he was an apothecary and, like, an herbalist. And so that's what I think that this is supposed to be representing. Is It's supposed to be him as an herbalist with his drinks and his tea. Uh, and then kind of the thing that I believe this is supposed to be is... What he's looking out the window for is, like, why he's fighting for the rebellion. The Yellow Turban Rebellion... Uh, was fought because of overtaxation of the poor, mistreatment to the poor, uh, and constant bandit attacks without the aristocracy doing anything to help out by, you know, sending troops or whatnot. Things that never happen in the modern era. We don't, we don't do that in the modern era anymore, we promise. And so him looking out at these just, you know, they're not exactly well-dressed kids or anything. Like, this is what he's fighting for. So, I like this art as, like, a little bit of a nice nod to that. A tier. Yeah, A tier. The artist is the mangaka of the Turas Rialta FGO manga. That CE was a commemoration CE for the two FGO. Oh, interesting. Thank you. All right. Okay. Esclep, my beloved. His first ascension goes so goddamn hard. Second ascension is good too. Third ascension is very cool. And here we go. It's unfortunate that his FA is kind of lackluster in comparison. Oh yeah, Mr. Gold. Did you see the clip where Koseki Bishu called Nikkei the bot game and the giant chug game? I didn't, but she's not wrong. I just think it's funny that uh, Biju is aware of Nikkei at all. That's that's fantastic. Can someone remind me why also Pies hate Apollo again? I need to brush up on my Greek. Uh, Apollo is the reason why he died. I believe Apollo is the one who complained. Oh, Apollo's his dad. Is that what it is? 
Was it a, did, is Apollo the one who complained to Zeus as well? It was just like, hey, this dude figured out immortality and then Zeus killed him. It was, oh, it was Hades. Hades complained to Zeus. That's right. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, this is a C tier. It's just okay. I can imagine him and the Nightingale doing their best to cure anger. Yeah, no one can cure anger. That man's got anal fever. All right. Murasaki. The Shiki Boo. Very cute. Very cute. This is what my Final Fantasy character looks like. As a black mage. I love it. And here she is, lying down in the maple leaves. My god, goddess. Mommy, so cute. Mommy, very cute. So something I've never noticed uh, about this in particular is the, the quite literal goldfish. Why are those there? What do you mean? What do you mean? There, there, there's here, 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 and here. There's four of them. I don't get why they're there. Not that they're not cool. Like, in turn, like this is a really good Rida art for sure. Who is this again? Murasaki. Ooh, I like that. I didn't notice the paintbrush, though. That's really cute. Uh, it's like a B tier. I like this a lot. Ooh, we got another good one coming up here. Where is he? The cock wizard. POV, the only person who showed up to Mordred's birth. Why Murasaki is a caster, but Sei Shonagon is an archer? Uh. Well, Sei should be a, a, a caster by all rights. But that would require them to make a uh, an AOE quick caster, which they refuse to do. There's like three of them, maybe. AOE quick, let's take a look. No, sorry. No, 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 no. No. Not AoE, single target. AoE quick. AoE quick. There's two. We'll get to the rats here. Don't start rat posting yet. Save it. Anyway, Merlin. Daikokuten and Zhongzhu. Does Martha count when she's a support? Nope. And Izumo is the only single target quick caster. I believe so. I could be wrong about that, though. 
uh, on today's episode of Art That Goes Hard... My man is ready to kick some fucking ass. He's got the tower behind him, the lighting goes fucking hard. He's got the fucking... the sword. The pulling the sword out of his staff is goes fucking crazy. I like how he looks demonic for once. Oh yeah, it's great. This art is insane. POV, he's about to give you a cock. <laughs> POV, he's about to give you a cock and then circumcise you. S tier. Why is the half incubus so hot? Wait, that answered the question itself. You got it. Uh, Martha. Where's my girl at? Where's my baby girl at? And by baby girl, I mean she's literally a baby girl. Gives you balls to cast testicular torsion. I cast one of my foulest spells upon you. Corrupted SSD. Have you seen the Martha giving woo boobs meme? Yes. I really like this. Just because this is just such a natural shot. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the rendering is good. The steam coming off the thing is good. The soup is good. Uh, I love that she has a fire extinguisher strapped to her Captain back. Chef. At least I'm assuming that's a fire extinguisher. If not, it's a blowtorch so that she can get a nice char on the food. You can see a little bit of Tarisk in the back there. Very, very wholesome. I love it. Look at this smug goblin. Uh, it's like, it's a B tier. I'm bumping Babbage up. God damn it. I love Babbage's so much. Uh, I would like to do an April Fool's tier list someday. I was, I did some of that with Deja already. Maybe I do more. Maybe I'll do more of that in, in the future. All right, Shahrazad. God, she is. Oh. Okay. This is good. This is also good. God damn, this is really good. We're gonna do a little bit of like intense body. Uh, proportioning, but it's still not hateful. It's just a lot of tight shit going on. And then this art. Ooh. What are designed to absolutely a character assassinate her with? I mean, yeah. But, you know. It's good. What the fuck is happening in this Katamari music? Sorry, I was like being pulled through the void. Uh, yeah, this is good. 450 quarts, uh, dupes of Astraya, no Bazit, JP, 10 ticket Bazit, damn. Uh, I like this a lot. Who else has this guy done? Tesla? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it's like a high B. Pretty high B. I mean, I guess. 
I mean, they, they, they finally figured out how to finish drawing legs, though. They must have had more time to draw this one, because it's actually fully rendered, unlike Tesla's was. Alright. Ilya. I know, I just, I literally do not remember anything ever. So I'm sure I had the exact same reaction in the Archer video. Alright. Ilya with the flowers. Magical girl Ilya. More magical girl Ilya. I kind of wish that they, like, did a little bit more fun with this design, like, kind of what they did for, uh... Miu's. I know Miu came out later, but, like, the, the, the... Child of God or whatever it's called, Miu, is really good. This is just, you know, more more magical girl. And I know it's, it's like a reference to Prilia or something, but, you know. And here you go. Okay, I did, I did just notice something about this here that's... The FA again. I did notice something about this FA that's going to make me put it up higher. So first of all, I didn't need to see Loli Feet. I really didn't. Uh, this is such an off-putting, different vibe to everything else in her kit. Or, like, Get fucking F or Ascensions. Uh, I will say, seeing Ruby in the background with the birds is fucking hilarious. That's actually really funny. Ascension sent is a reference to the part in Prelia where Ilya beat skills and Uma. Ilya gave Gil an enema? JL, but actually good art. Why is there a pentagram in her back? Uh, I mean, the art itself is good. The rendering is really good on the water. I don't know. I, the, the, the background on the other one is what really sold it, along with, like, the texturing on everything. But otherwise, you know, it's, uh... It, 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 it's a B tier. It's not terrible. It's just... You know. Ooh. You should return to your cult. No. Yeah. Speaking of uh, children, the book. Nursery, my beloved daughter. This is th this is the best ascension for her. It's simple. It's cute. It's iconic. It's adorable. I love it. Good daughter. Head pat your book. This one's a little bit more Anarchist busy. Cookbook. Anarchist cook. Yeah, right. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. I, I like that she has the mushrooms on her. Uh, on her little coat there. That's cute. And then, remember when I said that Wada, early Wada designs were just like a clusterfuck of shit? Just so much like, extra stuff. I do appreciate the idea that they brought out during the Hei and Kyo. Uh, I'd have loved to have a multinational nursery. Oh yeah, they should have. Yeah, no, th this is absolutely a clusterfuck of, like, nonsense, but it's it's all stuff that's related to Alice in Wonderland. It's good. I like this a lot. It, it's, it's very, very... It's chaotic in a very fun, in a very fun way. I like this. I really like this. This is over-designed as fluff as I am a Digimon fan. Yes, I like it a lot. A tier. And not just because I love nursery so much. My daughter. My sweet baby. Speaking of dolls. 
Sieg. Now here's also Sieg, but green. It's, it's okay. Anime protagonist template as fuck. Yeah, right. No, nah, it's it's bad. Not bad, but it's it's very whatever. Sega's five days old. Yes, that's why I said baby, baby and doll. Jail to the stall. I didn't know. If we're going to be technical, Stolf was... If we're going to be like summonings or like birthdays, then Stolf is also five days old. But, you know, it's... Eh. Meh. Keruke. I love Cersei's art so much. Cersei has one of my favorite designs in Fate. And I'll say this, her uh, Samurai Remnant design... Mwah! The way how the Samurai Remnant artist draws her is so fucking good. Yeah, she is the epitome of a simple but strong design. Absolutely. I will say, this is my preferred one for her. I just, because I like the wings. This, I, I, the wings here, I get it. They're kind of cool. It's just, you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I don't get why, uh, I didn't get to the point that she appears in Samurai Remnant. Damn. This, however. Okay, so the reason I don't like these is because they look so stiff. Right? They look like cardboard almost. But when you got them actually like acting like wings here, and then her hair doing like this whole flowing thing, and this really, really cute look of her on balancing on a rock in these big ass like heels. Not even heels. What would you call these platform shoes, I guess? It's a very good pose. She's she's really good. POV, you've been pigged. Yeah. It's simple but great. And it's but it's more. It, it's it's just so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's here. Oh. Avis bro. Yeah, the composition with her hair goes so hard. You are not immune to pigify. <laughs> your ears are really long, like longer than any elf in anime. I... Yes. When people give elves ridiculously long ears, I'm talking like 90s anime elf ears. That's the good shit. Also, uh, I think I mentioned this before, Dungeon Meshi, uh, Marseille in Dungeon Meshi, unlocked something in me that I didn't know I needed, and that is that elf ears react the way how, like, dog ears do, where they can kind of flap up and down. It's really, really, really cute. Uh, I like Avis Bronze design a lot. Not as Ascension 1 as much. This one I love. I, I like it a lot. And this one's a little bit too busy for me. The extra arms are kind of a bit much, and then the horns feel unnecessary. It's still good, though. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. 
And then, yeah, it, th this one's really simple. I will say, uh, I'll, I will give credit where credit is due. The rendering that the artist did for, like, the metal bits and then the lighting is really, really impressive. I also like that he's, like, mid-conversation with nobody. I, I, re I really like this this final ascension art. It's really good. Uh, maybe, maybe a low B tier. Okay. Shooting. Uh, yes, Avis Braun is Jewish. That is correct. Because, as I don't know, maybe this should be well known. Uh, uh, Jewish people are the ones who originated the modern uh, idea of the the I must say the gnome of the golem. For more information, look up the Golem of Prague. It's a very fascinating story. Uh, Shuten's design is okay. Like, in this, I like her original design better. But it's good. It's really good. Uh, and then... So, something I didn't notice until looking at this is the... Uh, the ring of Japanese traditional snacks that is like circling around her. Uh, and then the cone peito as well, which is really cute. Which, after realizing that, I'm like, oh wait, she's doing this for Ibaraki. She's manifesting Japanese sweets for Ibaraki, which is such a sweet little gesture. I only have one question for Ryda. Why so much focus on ass and feet? I ain't complaining. The man knows what he likes. And you know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I respect an artist who, who knows what they like and then they draw it. I have nothing but respect for that. Uh, It's okay. It's like a B tier. It's solidly fine. I like Murasaki's better, but yeah, put it there. Melon22, my man. That's why he's the GOAT. Alright. Maintaining the theme of purple cuties. Scatty. Cute. Still cute. Very cute. And here she is coming to fucking get you. Controversial opinion. A Scotty Ascension 1 is best Scotty. That is not controversial. I agree with you. This design is great. It's phenomenal. I still don't have a Scotty. Is it worth to roll for her in March? Wait, no. Wait for Summer Scotty. Unless you want to do, like, triple Scotty shit, which you can do, just wait for Summer Scotty. I named one of my rats after Scotty. Skahawk Scotty when she bites my toes, though. Damn. Yeah, Summer Scotty is just a strictly better version of Scotty. I think that the 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 big difference is th doesn't Summer Scotty have 
No, Summer Scott does not have defense down. Yay! Or do they? I could be completely wrong. Don't let me don't let me lie to you. Give me a sec. Uh, Timmy the chicken, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope to enjoy your stay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Ruler Scotty, it removes the defense down, but in favor of giving you crazy buster support with it. Regardless. It's not what we're here for. Uh, it's... I mean, it's, I mean, it's rendered super well. Like, it's crazy how the lighting goes. She's flying at you. She's gonna poke the stick up your nose, wiggle it around, scramble your brains. Yeah, the ruin casting is really cute. The the finger gloves are interesting. It's a it's kind of cool. It's super well rendered. It's a yeah, pretty high B tier. It's like up here. Okay. Final seven. Anastasia. Which is better, Koyan or Summer Scotty? Uh, Koyan. You can loot more reliably, more reliably with uh, Koyan. Koyan Light, I should specify. At least that's what I think. Okay. I still don't have Anastasia on my, uh, my NA account. Cute dress. Cute ghost. And then lying down with the ghostly tendrils. You don't have Anastasia because Miss ran off with all of your copies of her. Yeah, probably, actually. Uh, This one is very cute and very creepy at the same time, which I love. Cute ghost, no pledge. V is a scale, is scaly, not cute. I will follow my heart. POV your cat Uh, I like this one a lot. Is this... Sime? Who else have you done? Just Anastasia, really? Interesting. Note, if you sleep with Anastasia, V will be watching. Well, then that ghost cuck can watch, can't he? You've heard of protection, but this is ridiculous. B tier. A lot of B tiers. Caster Gill. Here he is. Classic Cast Gill with the crown. Uh, it would make sense for Anastasia to be 17 years old, which is when she died. this final ascension it's okay it, it just i don't know this final ascension given that it's gill 
I feel like could be much more elegant. Or, what's the word? Elaborate, maybe? Know what I mean? For being like the king of Ur. King of Urk. I feel like him just sitting and having an apple is kind of boring. Know what I mean? This isn't even my anti-gill bias, because this is not the gill I dislike. I like this gill. It, it, this is like a C tier. It's just okay. I'll put a high C tier, but it is just C tier. Oh, yeah. Summer Marie. One of the... Not great characters. One of the characters ever. Okay. This sure is a child. I'm pretty sure she is, isn't she? She's not, even though she admits to having the body of a 14-year-old. Whatever. I like the dress. I, I I do really like this dress a lot. This is really good look. This is, this is cute too. I like this. This is pretty cute. And then... Ironically, this is the best part about her. Because her kid is shit. But this is pretty good. Marie is the, is the mother of two, yes. Or a mother of two. You're absolutely right about that. However, fate decided to make her have the body of a 14-year-old. I do like the rendering, though. It came out, it came out well. It's kind of, like, just fine. It's a C-tier. I like the shading better than the cast gill, so I'm going to bump it up over. Uh, I'm going to rank Nero's before I do the rat, the rats. There we go. Little cutie. Love this. This is so fucking good. I adore this. It sure is a big-ass sword for a caster? Of course. And then I really like this. I was a big fan of this when uh, it was with Summer Jean. And it, this is essentially the same idea. Uh, I love it. It's really cute. I think it's a very funny thought that she's opening her mouth like this to smile and is immediately inhaling a bunch of seawater. And so she starts, like, immediately after this is taken, she starts choking. You know, uh, Summer Nero was re was that was released before Summer Jean. Yes. So Jean's was more like this, but we did the Jean one before we did this, is what I mean. Uh, but I like it. It's good. I like the rendering. The coloring is good. I love the reflection above her. I like how the cloth is reacting with the water and how it's like semi-transparent. It's really good. A tier. All right, you may rat post. Rat time. Oh, 
I love the rats so much. They're so cute. They have such good designs. Fancy rat. Adore the fancy rat. Go to Man Rat Music PLS. Rat music, you say? Hyper rats. A large fortune. No. Big person. These all read big person. That's really funny. Like the Onigiri. And then you're in the mouse house. A new, a new viewer uh, joining for this. I hope they do. Uh, I love this final ascension art. I really do. Wow, Wix is a lot to go. Thank you for the, the, the reset. Seven months. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Welcome to Rat Post. Uh, yeah, so I love Rio's art. I really do. Rio's art goes hard as fuck. And I love, like, just how much rats. Just an actual mouse head. There's no other Final Ascension like this, which I love. It's such a unique and different thing. Tier rats. I love the rat final ascension so much. Michael, rats, rats, we are the rats. So I'm gonna get another one of our big bats. Michael, it's your birthday today. Michael, send a good boy this year. Okay, we're done. We did not hear the M thing you said. That's okay. All I need to know is rats are S tier. That's it. I love the one in the corner. Yeah. All right. Ash the savior. Ugh. It's good. Q. Who the heck is she? And a Thera saber face. Uh, massive story spoilers. Don't tell him. It's the Violet Saber Garden, yeah. Here we go. Uh, this is very, very good. Uh, again, Takeuchi lighting goes hard. I, I, I do like seeing the evolution of like the start of FGO to his most recent saber face, which is this one. Or, I mean, you could say, you know, Berserker, Castoria. But, yeah, this... The, the, it's just so much improvement. You love to see it. The design is great. It's phenomenal. No, you're right. I mean, you're, you're absolutely right, Majin. But, you know. Uh, in terms of just, like, posing and stuff, though, it's kind of whatever. But it's... I'll put it here. Alright, and last... Uh, my legal wife in FGO. Yui, my beloved. How's it going, baby?
classic. Love it. The FGO Wiki usually puts a spoil. Yeah, they do. S for 16 UEs, yep. Love this. Very good, very great art. I love it. And there's this. Uh, I like this Ascension art a lot. I really do. And it's not just because, you know, I have... I have a very clear... Uh, UE bias, to a degree. And I do. I'll, I'll admit it, I do. Uh, it's It is very simple, but it's very good. It is unfortunately kind of, you know, a little bit boring. It's 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 boring in a very very cute way. I don't know. I like it a lot, but I'm going to I'm going to I'll play fair and just say it's S T. No, I'll put it bottom of B. I like it, but I can't in good conscience put it any higher. But I will spare her from being lower. All right, fellas. Well, there's your list. Uh, is there anything I've messed up? Should I change anything? Move waiver above Sieg. I can do that. Binky higher. Really? Seek should be lower in D. Okay, I think the I think the most D tier one. Probably probably Giles. Probably like this. I think that that's better. A prob Vinky higher. Uh. I'll I'll put I'll put Vinky above Amadeus. I, it's a hard argument to say that it's better than. Castorias. Cersei for S? I can't do Cersei for S. People might actually get mad if I put Cersei in S. Medea SSS++++. Nope. She's in A tier, which is higher than she probably should be, but yeah. Let them be mad, Cersei S. Sure. Convincing argument. Let's do it. I do need to make a playlist for this. Somebody remind me to make a playlist for these. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to putting Nidocris a tier lower. She does look a little bit out of place up there, but, you know, biases and all that. That means Ilya will be put in S? No. Again, there's a difference between how they did, uh, Mews and Ilya's. Mews has so much more detail in it that I that I really like, as opposed to uh, Ilya's, which is kind of more baity. Fox at Fox tier. No, I think that Tammy's is fine where she is. Ilya's is only feet. Ilya is wearing a one-piece dress that's see-through. The best thing about the Ilya one, and it's probably keeping it out of C tier, is the fact that Ruby is flying with the birds, which is really cute. Vinky above Castoria because Castoria is so bright it hurts my eyes. <sighs> I, I, uh, I just like the Castoria one so much better. If it makes you feel any better, just say that they're tied in your head mentally. Uh, I think the rest of this is uh, pretty good. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot more B tiers in this one than usual, but you know, that's fine. Casters have a pretty good set of the 
art. It's all, I mean, it's all good art. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hi, YouTube. How's it going? Not talked to you guys in a while. Is your mom good? Welcome. Welcome, Jesus Christ. Uh, that will be it for us, uh, on this. Uh, we will be doing these every single Monday until we've done all of them. I will be splitting the extra classes in half. Uh, we'll be doing the pseudo knights and then the pseudo cavalry, kind of like what I've done for, uh, kind of what I did for the census. Next week is the Berserkers, so if you're over on YouTube you would like to catch these live, come check us out at twitch.tv slash glitchradio, linked down below. Uh, yeah, go check out uh, all, the, all the socials, all the other stuff. May I do a selfish request? Yes, go ahead. We're doing the outro right now, but be my guest. That you do that list on Tuesday... You know what, Tig? Just for you. Sure, we can do that on Tuesday. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with all of the stream stuff and all the updates and whatnot, uh, join the Discord. I post my stream schedule in the Discord every single week. There should be a link to uh, join that down below. So... Uh, yeah, go watch the rest of these if you want to watch the full series starting from Sabres all the way now to the Casters. We've now done all the Knights and all of the Cavalry classes. We will be doing the Berserkers next, so if you have any strong opinions on those, come check us out. For now, though, guys, thank you for hanging out. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will catch you all here in a week. For now, though, keep it tuned up, lads. Peace out. Later.